Hey y'all, it's Michelle again, and I have another tutorial for using your explosion board to make a different sized gift box. And I actually have two of them that I'm going to show you today. And uh, let's just go ahead and get started. This is going to be a fun tutorial. So again, this is using the explosion board by We Are Memory Keepers. And at Country Craft Creations, they are on order and hopefully will be in soon. So keep checking. This thing, I love this thing. It is so much fun to play with. And I've come up with some different ideas. And I think you're going to like this one. So um, this is going to be kind of a quick tutorial because I'm not going to do the pattern paper and stuff. I'm just going to show you the mechanics of making the box. And then um, I'll, I'll finish them off camera and then I'll have have um, you know some pictures for you to see but um, I did get one done um, so the first one we're gonna do is the tall box I'm calling this the tall box um, this is a gift box and seeing how Mother's Day is coming up pretty soon I thought that I would share how to make this um, you could put you know all kinds of stuff in here and it, it's tall I love this 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 one measures I want to say it is um, eight inches tall that's right, because I never get my ruler the right way. Eight inches tall, and it has like the regular kind of lid to it. I did Valentine paper on this one because I just wanted to, to play with it and, and figure out the design. But um, it turned out really, really cute, and it's really, really sturdy, and it's really easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Again, this is my tall box that we're going to do. So the first thing you're going to want is your scoreboard, and you're going to want a piece of paper that's 12 by 12. Now, I am using... Wow, I'm going to throw that across the desk. Sorry about that. Um, I'm using the 100-pound cardstock, artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. And again, this is 12 by 12. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it in your uh, explosion board and you're going to score it on the XXL line all the way down. Okay, and then you're going to completely turn it over so your score that you just did is right here and put it in your board and you're gonna score it again. So you're scoring it all the way down, okay? So now essentially you have divided your paper into three, okay? You can see that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it again. So now the scores that you just did are perpendicular, okay? And you're gonna score again on the XXL line, all right? So this is the piece number one. This is 12 inches by 12. And you're gonna score on the XXL line, turn it, score on the XXL line, and then do another score on the XXL line on one side. So you're gonna get a five by 12 piece. And what we're gonna do with this one is we're going to put it in the scoreboard so that the long end is at the top. We're gonna to score it on the XXL line, okay? And then we are going to get a regular scoreboard. This one, you will need a regular scoreboard for just a hot second here. And we're gonna score on half inch on each side, okay? So we're gonna score at one half, right there, and we're gonna score at four and a half. Sorry about that confusion. Didn't mean to make it crazy. Um, so then what we're gonna do is grab your scissors, and on this piece here, we're going to miter this big bottom piece here. And then we're going to miter the tabs. Those are gonna be what connects your box together. So we're gonna just miter those, and then we're gonna just miter the bottom just a little bit. That's gonna form the bottom of the box. Okay, so you'll have a piece that looks like that. And then we're gonna grab this piece here, and it's divided into three sections. So this bottom square here, we're gonna leave completely square. We are going to cut straight up the score line. And then we're gonna miter the next one, or the next two, I should say, okay? So we're gonna just cut a little miter out of, if I can get my scissors in there, just like that. All right, and then miter the end. So when you get done, you will have a piece that looks like that. So the first square is square, but the other two have made uh, tabs, okay? So then what you're gonna do, let's fold and burnish all of our lines. Super simple. I'm sure you guys have already figured out how this is going to go together. But um, honestly, this is really kind of cool. Um, 
So if you wanted to make this, this is eight inches tall. If you wanted to make it six inches tall, the only thing you would have to do is instead of having a 12 inch tall piece of paper, have a 10 inch tall piece of paper and that would totally work. So that would make a six inch um, tall box. All right, so then fold and burnish these and then fold your bottom and burnish that. Okay, so then we're gonna hook it all together. So what we're gonna do is just hook this tab to this end. Um, actually, we're gonna hook it to this end. So you want the unmitered tab here and you want you know your tabs, tabs down on the other side. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So grab your art glitter glue, also from Country Craft Creations. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over because it's easier for me to do when I turn it over. If, um, let's see, I can get, yeah, there it is. Okay, the glue's coming out. Yay, me. I always get the glue that doesn't want to glue or come out when I'm trying to do a tutorial. It drives me crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and line that up, not quite in the score. Okay, right to the edge of that score and glue that down. Okay, so now you have basically your four sides of your box. So at this point, what you're going to need to do is um, you're not going to, we're going to put pattern paper on and I'm just going to use a pencil and show you. So this is the inside here. Um, you're going to put pattern paper on this one, this one, and this one. You're going to leave this one open for now because you're going to have to attach it and then you after you do that then you can put the pattern paper on the inside on this one okay so starting from where the tab is here put pattern paper here 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 okay and then um then what you're going to do is turn it over and you can put pattern paper on the outsides so all of these you can do pattern paper on all right, and even the bottom square, the bottom square is here. Put pattern paper on this, okay? And then um, what you're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and glue our box together on the sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and mash that down and then fold your box and put glue on your tab and then you can fold your box over and glue that down. Okay, there we go. So now you have your box shape. And then all you're simply gonna do is make sure that you have the square tab goes on the outside. So you fold down, 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 and you glue them as you go and then glue the bottom one down, make it nice and square, okay? And then that will be covered with patterned paper. On the inside, you will cut a piece of patterned paper to fit down in there. And the box dimensions, it is um, eight inches tall and it's four inches wide. So you will cut patterned paper. I usually cut it an eighth of an inch less than um, the piece I'm covering. So it would be the bottom piece would be three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then the sides would be three and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. Okay. So you will need eight pieces total, four for the outside, four for the inside, and then two squares for the top and the bottom. Okay. So that's how you construct your box. And again, you just, when you fold the bottoms up, you just put a little bit of glue and then fold that down and just make sure it stays square and then um, fold that one down last, pattern papers on here, and then it will cover the bottom of the box, okay? Does that make sense? And then we gotta make the lid. So to make the lid, we're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna take a little bit of the, little bit of the size down. Because it's not an explosion box, I, I want the lid to fit a little bit tighter than it would normally if you were to cut it at six and a half by six and a half. So what I did was I cut the paper at six and three eighths by six and three eighths. And then go ahead and put it in your scoreboard, score it on the lid all the way around. Oops. All right, so all four sides you score on the lid, and then I'm going to do the pinwheel cuts. So I'm gonna cut up the side and make a pinwheel, okay? Um, 
And what I mean by that is we're gonna make a tab here. So I cut straight up the side here, make the tab, turn it, and then do it again. So it kind of forms like this little pinwheel looking thing. That's what I'm calling a pinwheel. Each tab will go to a side, which will help reinforce it. Although I am using the 110 pound, or 100 pound, excuse me, cardstock um, from Country Craft Creations, and it's really nice and sturdy. And once you get the pattern paper on there, it's gonna be amazing. So um, you're not gonna have to worry about it. These boxes are gonna be sturdy. So if you have a tall present, you can totally make a tall box to go with your tall present. So you're gonna have that. So then at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to cover the outside completely with your pattern paper. Okay, so your strips for your side. The sides are one and one eighth, so you'll cut them um, at one inch wide. And this um, measures four and an eighth. So you're going to um, cut the papers four by seven eighths, okay, to cover the side. So you cover the outside completely. And then on the inside, just do your lid. And then what you're gonna do is fold and make your lid. And then you can finish the sides. And once you once you get the tabs done, then you can put the pattern paper on the sides and it will cover the tabs, okay? So I'm gonna grab my glue again and I'm just going to do that. And like I said, I will cover this with pattern paper later. It's a lot easier to do it before you build the box, that's for sure, but it can be done. So I will do that later. I won't bore you with that part on camera today because I want to show you this other box that I thought was really kind of cool. So again, you can make this, um, if you use 12 by 12 paper, it will make an eight inch tall box. If you use 10 inch paper, 10 by 12, then it will make a six inch tall box. And then the normal way you make a box makes a four inch box. So it will be, it will be an awesome size box, I think. Okay, so you have your lid and then your lid will just fit on here and then it'll fit a little more snugly than the measurement on your board. Cause this is meant to actually um, kind of give a little bit for the explosion part of it and hold it all in. Um, so that's why it's a little bit bigger. Uh, but for a box that doesn't explode out, you don't need it that big. So I cut it down just a little bit. So again, you will need a piece of paper for an eight inch box that's 12 by 12 and then one that's five by 12. And then you'll need this piece here, which is six and three eighths by six and three eighths. And that'll make this nice tall gift box using your explosion board. So now let's make an exploding big box. So I have, I had an idea on how to do this and I just kind of want to show you the sample that I came up with and then we'll go ahead and make it, we'll go through the process. So I wanted to make an actual exploding box that was actually kind of tall. Now I played with the design and the eight inch tall ones were just too big. So I did cut this down to six inches tall and it worked out much better, but you do need a deeper lid that will kind of help contain everything. Now this is kind of flimsy paper, but I'm gonna be using the 100 pound cardstock uh, from Country Craft Creation, so it'll be a little bit more sturdy, but you get the idea. But this one will explode and then you could have a gift inside, um, which would be really, really cool. Or you could make you know smaller boxes and put in here, however you wanna do it. But I just thought this was a great idea and I wanted to figure out how to do it because obviously this is way bigger than a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I did figure it out. So let's, let me show you how I did it. So first off, what you're going to need are two pieces of paper that are 10 by 10. And let me, gosh, I got a mess here. I've been filming tutorials all day and my desk is a mess. Oh, wrong scoreboard. <laughs> oh boy. Um, here we go. Okay, so, so you need your 10 by 10 piece of paper. You need two of these. And what you're gonna do is put it in your scoreboard and on two sides, you're gonna score it on the extra, extra large side. So we're gonna go like this and turn it and then go like that. So on the extra, extra large, all right? So just two sides. Grab your other 10 by 10 piece of paper and do the same thing. Ow, just got a cramp, okay. And then 
go like this. All right, so we've got our two papers that are scored. So I put, I put it in here with a big square up here. You're gonna score down as far as you can. Now you can't go too far because the board doesn't allow you to go too far. But then what I'm gonna do is just grab my ruler and I'm gonna complete it as best I can because you kind of can't fold this at this point. So I'm gonna just line up my ruler and I'm just gonna go ahead and score down as best I can, okay? So to complete that line. And then grab your heart and you're gonna line this up and you're gonna grab your pencil and you're gonna trace around and then you're gonna cut that out. So you're gonna do that for both pieces and what I have tended to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that off just so I don't have as much stuff. And then I'm going to just cut this out. So when you're done with that, you'll end up with a piece like this. Now you should have two pieces like that. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to fold and burnish your score lines. Okay. So you're going to fold this over. And then that, that point that we did with the heart, we're going to just kind of fold that over and burnish that down. Okay. A little bit. We'll fold this, burnish it down. Okay. So get your, get your lines nice and sharp increased really well okay and then um, make sure that you erase any pencil marks okay um so you have that so now you have two pieces we'll have two pieces that are exactly alike okay this one i guess i gotta finish scoring or burnishing i should say okay so then what you're gonna do is you're going to flip them over so they're on the wrong side and then we're going to glue the bottoms together so you have a piece like that all right, so just gonna go ahead and apply my glue. And this will make for a nice strong bottom as well. And then I'm gonna get it to where I can see it. And then just right at the score lines, you know, it's not like it's a book, it's gonna be a box, so we can put that right on it. All right, and burnish that down. Make sure back side's good. Okay, so now you have this. So now what about the heart shapes in the middle? So this is what you're going to do with that. If I can find the piece of paper that I cut out for that. Okay, so you will need two pieces of paper that are four and a half by four and a half. And we're going to stick them in our scoreboard. And we're going to score on the XXL line. And then we're going to do the diagonal and then turn it so that we score on the other XXL line, okay? So you should have two half inch tabs and the diagonal right here, okay? Do that for both of them. So XXL, do the diagonal, and then turn it and do the XXL again, okay? So you have two pieces like that. Then what you're gonna do is take your heart, and you're gonna line it up so that it is right at those half inch spaces. So your heart fits right there on the paper and you're gonna draw a line and you're going to cut that heart out. Okay, and do that with both of them. Okay, and then let's see. Um, when you get done with that, you're gonna have a model that'll look like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then fold and burnish. So we're gonna fold those tabs in and then we'll fold the heart the opposite direction. All right, and then what we're gonna do is take our big piece here and we're going to add it to 
this and we're going to just glue the tabs down to the inside of the box just like that okay so then it'll fold in just like it was meant to be there <laughs> So now if you want, you can fold the tab up and then kind of do it that way. Just go to the corner there, right on the edge. Okay, and it should fold down and meet just perfectly. And then again, those tabs will be covered with patterned paper. So this is a, an explosion box, so at this point you can cover the whole darn thing, um, you know, with patterned paper inside and out. And then if you wanted to add other layers or a box on the inside, you know, however you want to do it, I'm just going to leave it like this at this point. But this would be a cute, it would be a cute tall album, that's for sure. <laughs> but whatever you want to do with it. Nice gift box. That explodes would be a giant card. Okay, so then, then it would fold up just like always. And create your box now this one will be six inches tall because again like I said um, the eight inch tall one was just a little too flimsy up at the top because you know you do have open sides here so um, then what I did was with the lid what did I do with the lid I now this this model is in black but I wanted to show you what I did for the lid because I wanted a deeper lid because the one and one eighth inch just is gonna, it wasn't going to cut it. So I did an eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and then I scored it on the extra extra small. Okay, so I put it in my scoreboard and I just scored it on my extra extra small and then turn, score, turn, etc. And then I did the whole pinwheel cut thing. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and glue it together. And then we will have a lid for our box. Now this one is just a model, but we'll glue it together and then I'll show you how it looks. So this is the um, explosion, the tall explosion box. And then we've got the tall box that we made. So these are the two kind of different sized um, boxes that you can make with this explosion board that I was talking about. And I will, um, I think I'll add some pictures at the end of this video so you can see what these turned out to be. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love playing with this um, explosion board, trying to figure out stuff. I've got a couple other um, ideas cooking and those are coming soon. And um, I, just gotta, I just gotta get them done. Um, but there you go. So you can imagine this will fold up if I can wrap my hands around it. So this will fold up and then you have your lid that will go over the top if I can get it on there. Hold on. I can do it. I know I can do it. I can do it. See? Just like that. So there you go. That would be kind of a cute present. And then when they open it up, it really will explode. It's like boom. So and it's huge. So to cover... You just, you know, get your pattern paper, cover everything with pattern paper. Um, we use the extra, extra large heart to cut the sides out. So the next one you're going to want to use to use for the pattern paper is the extra large one. So I just trace it on the paper how I want it, and then I cut it in half down the diagonal. And then it covers these two halves perfectly. So do that inside and out. All right. And you will have a really cool, tall explosion box that um you know will be fun to do and then so this in conjunction with the one that does not explode which is this guy right here you could put a nice tall present in there and then that's kind of a cool box to hang on to and use for other things so thanks for watching the tutorial um again check with country craft creations because these are coming and um, have fun with your explosion boards if you already have one because i think this one's a really fun tool to have so thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.